miracles, really, really. No, normal. It's okay. normal. Normal. <laughs> receptive mode brings normal things. It only looks like a miracle when you're not in the receptive mode. It only looks like magic when you're not in the receptive mode. Yeah. So I got lazy. I guess depressed, lazy, heard you day and night. And there was one lady here, she come here once and every time I hear her, I cry because it's so nice, you know, well, I can relate because she said she found herself and she loved herself and this is how I feel. I love myself so much. Yes, yes. Yeah. So where are you right now? What do you want to talk about? <sighs> well, after four months listening to you day and night doing everything. That's too what much, first of all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, but it did Chill for out. me. We know, but don't work so hard at this. I was oh. not. I wanted to do it. We know. But what we're saying is, if you make it a big deal, so much to learn, so much to study, got to listen, 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 listen. It's easier than that. Just go to the beach. But I felt good. There was not so much that I wanted to learn or it just calmed me down. It made me feel good. But there's something in you that we must speak to. And that is you believe that you must pay a big price in order to receive. Mm -hmm. And as long as you believe that you must pay a big price in order to receive, you're going to have to pay a bigger price than anybody can pay in order to receive. So what we're trying to do is sort of shake you into realizing that you don't have to earn it. You've already got it. You already understand it. That's why we wanted to call you up. Here's a room full of people. We wanted you to know that you light up for us, that everything's working out for you and you can relax in this. There's a tension of trying too hard that we want you to just soften and let go of. Okay. Okay. Really okay. good. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Now what? Anybody feel like you're on the brink of the receptive mode and you just like to be coaxed in? <laughs> Somebody that's not on the edge of the crevasse of despair. <laughs> well, there's no point in starting there. We only have 12 minutes left. <laughs> We've had enough of you today. <laughs> We're just... Really? No, 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 no. <laughs> You got what you came for, right here, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. This is really big. I missed you when you came to England a few years ago, so it's a real honor for me to sit here yeah. with universal consciousness and say thank you. I have so much gratitude for this humble thing we call life. Yeah, that's a lovely place to consistently hold oh. that's really good yeah yeah i get blown away by how much gratitude that is bestowed upon me sometimes well we want it to feel like the next logical step not blown away and astonished <laughs> <laughs> and we know these are just words that you're using in comparison with other times and other people and other experiences but we love hearing you say i have accepted the natural never-ending flow of wonderful things that are happening to me yeah. and, and around every corner i expect them and then there they are again and again and again and again yeah i don't like to expect but i give gratitude for the abundance i always say well that's one of the nice things about the way this being in the receptive mode is because everything that's in your vortex is being revealed to you yeah. and you are in the receptive mode of it and that's why we say it is so delicious to us to watch you be surprised and delighted and the reason that the surprise is there is because you don't even realize the depth and breadth of what you put into your vortex. But when you get into the receptive mode and you allow it, you allow yourself to receive it. Often there is that exhilaration of surprise because it's so much more than the components that you put in. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I do get a little bit distressed sometimes when I hear what you've been saying to the other people. And, you know, we all have this higher vortex that we want to step into and it's really upsetting that you can't give it to your family and friends when you see them in despair and in the 3d world you know yeah. you, you just well, want to uplift what you them. just have to accept is that you cannot be the path of least resistance for someone else and when you try to be it then you get into a place of resistance and then you have nothing to give them so you just have to accept that as a consequence unless you're tuned in you can't help them and when you try to help them when you're not tuned in you find out what happens with that yeah it's sort of like abraham i'm so disappointed 
that when I jumped off my roof I didn't float to the ground <laughs> it's really distressing to me <laughs> that the law of gravity slammed me hard and broke my legs <laughs> and we say there are these things that just are that you have to adapt to and you have to learn to navigate within the law of attraction okay. you have to understand that you cannot be anybody else's point of attraction only your own yeah and once you are selfish enough to really accept that then you don't feel distressed about their sifting through contrast yeah. but you feel aware that they're in a step one moment one of the things that we've been saying recently and we think it's a really good conversation to have here okay. is that step one is ask contrast causes you to do that step two is source answers you've heard this until you don't want to hear it anymore step three is you get into the receptive mode so that you can be a receiver of ideas and inspiration step four is you master that you just get so good at that that it's easy to be in step four and when you're not you know how to get back there and step five is no longer being mad at yourself when you're in step one but step five did you hear that that matters you've heard it before you didn't have a big response to it like you did the first time you heard it but we want you to understand step five also means not being upset when somebody else is having a step one moment understanding the contrast that is necessary for them seeing them put things into their vortex think about their inner being stirring up their contents of their vortex think about law of attraction bringing the cooperative components think about it bubbling up think about what's possible for them think about what you might in enlighten them to think about what power of example you might offer because you understand about your vortex think about how your feeling good might lead them to begin to make the correlation between your feeling good and what's unfolding in your life you only teach through the clarity of your example yeah. and the laws of the universe will back you up every single time all day every day totally thank you I love what you're saying about the journey I'm so on that um, we all want to manifest love so recently you you ask put a vibration out we all want our beloved our soulmate stuff like that so i have a friend that i am currently in an unconditional love relationship with it hasn't manifested into the physical but i'm really enjoying the fact and i accept the fact that i am in process on this bit leading up to the hundred thousand with him but you see when you have an ulterior motive like that you mess it up yeah because you're not in love for the sake of love you're in love for the sake of where it's going to lead and that trips you up every yeah, single how time do you get out of having unconditional attachment to because you love because go. it feels good to love not yep. because it's going to lead you to something you want okay you love for the sake of the feeling of love none of you say I'm breathing so that I can live a long life <laughs> do you <laughs> don't you just breathe because it's common sense right here and now <laughs> and so it's the same sort of thing you get into alignment not because it's gonna to lead to a long and happy life you get into alignment because it feels so good and in time so natural and in time so good and so natural that nothing else will do nothing else will do you just lean in the direction of what feels good lean in the direction of what feels good no matter what lean in the direction of what feels good these ulterior motives these motives we've talked about this yesterday and today and we think it's really worth making a big point about it because you came to a place that you have not been before and that is so often it's the manifestation of something like money or a relationship that you see as the beginning of living happily ever after and what we want to say is there's so much living happily ever after that has to come before that can come yeah. in order to live happily ever that after is the happy ever that's after. really a big point isn't it it's in this moment yeah and it doesn't matter where you are on your journey you need to be appreciative of that and of whatever it takes get off the subject if it's a tripping point really good enough thank you So there isn't anything that you're asking for that we haven't answered more than once in this conversation that we've had today we want you to be easier about that this has been an interesting day because it has been a day of more attention on unwanted which is amplifying what is wanted than some of the days that we've had but as a result of it it has caused us to and these aren't the best words to sort of dig deeper into the basis of how it all works in other words there isn't anything 
more valuable to you than the contrast that causes desire Jerry used to say to people he was counseling in financial matters you want to put your basket of intentions he was using the word goal in those days you want to put your basket out there far enough that it's interesting and thrilling when you make the basket but not so far that you don't believe that you can and that really speaks to the vibrational energy balance that you're looking for all the time you want to be as happy as you can be from where you stand but not ask yourself to be happier than you believe that you can be in other words we want you to just accept what is with more appreciation of self and you do that by acknowledging that you live in contrast for a reason and that contrast does serve you so that you stop beating up on yourself when you feel negative emotion when you feel negative emotion instead say this is good my vibration in relationship to the vibration of my source is showing me through this negative emotion that I could shift my vibration and be in a better place this is guidance and I'm alert to my guidance so pat yourself on the back more be more appreciative of what you know be less willing to wallow in the unwanted don't look for people to wallow there with you don't allow yourself the ease of momentum that will get started no matter what the subject is catch it earlier and decide if it's something you want to get bigger and if it isn't something that you want to get bigger do your best to change the subject do your best to distract yourself from it even if it means take a nap even if it means get into meditation even if it means call up the only happy person you know and ask them to come and see you and don't be surprised when they say hell no <laughs> in other words show yourself where you are vibrationally and then do your best to get in the best feeling place that you can and most of all the most important conversation that we've had today that will carry you the furthest in terms of the progress and the success of alignment that you're all reaching for success of alignment joy is the success that you're reaching for not the money but joy will lead you to the success of the money if you think you need the money to find the joy of success then you've got it backwards you see so when you acknowledge that this receptive mode is really where it's at that it's what you knew about most when you came into this physical experience and you acknowledge the importance and the ever presence of your own guidance system and you make a decision to be so selfish that you're not willing to go very far down any road that doesn't feel good which means into a television program or into a movie it's so interesting to watch you in movies those movies build momentum so often that works against your own well-being you want to be a better selective sifter looking for more things that feel good and acknowledging them when they do and then milking them as they are feeling good and you will attract others who feel the same way who know the same things and when you are together and you watch the collective what feels like magic of the universe responding to all of the momentum that all of you have achieved you will come away from those experiences knowing these things knowing that you are important knowing that you are powerful and most of all knowing that you are blessed that is our strongest desire for you but we know that we cannot be your path of least resistance we cannot love you enough or believe in you enough to cause you to believe in this red hot moment but we can stay after it for as long as you live until eventually in a weak moment you stumble into the receptive mode and next time that happens to you you will make the correlation between what's going on vibrationally and why you feel the way you do.